In today's video, we are looking at five essential shading tips for guaranteed improvements in your tattoos. So the first tip I wanna share with you guys is that you should use Magnum shaders at a 25 degree angle. This is extremely important so that you don't get lines and inconsistent dots in your shading. And you'll be surprised how many artists don't know how to do this. Let me show you what happens if you don't tattoo at an angle. See here the machine is just hitting the same area over and over and creating gaps or lines. You can see the dots on the left hand side are much tighter and smoother. So make sure you're applying this method to all of your tattoos. Now in practice the angle doesn't have to be exactly 25 degrees. You don't have to get this perfect. The main idea is that you're not just going over the same place over and over. The same idea is applied to packing in black. 25 degree angle is essential for minimizing gaps in your tattoos. You can also use a more extreme 75 degree angle as well, especially if you're packing in tight areas. Uh, just stick to the same theory. A ton of videos like this on my channel and on the way. So do subscribe if you do like this kind of content. So the next tip on this list is to use the edge of the Magnum to get into the nooks and crannies of your tattoo design. So in this clip, I am doing it with a curved Magnum, but you can get even more precision if you're using a flat needle configuration. So I've put the machine on its side and I'm just flicking it out to the edges to achieve a solid black transition into my shaded areas. And you can also use this to just lightly shade uh, some corners and bits like that. So as I say, you can use the sides and the edges to shade or color pack thin areas of your tattoo design where the Magnum wouldn't normally fit. So this is pretty important if you're tattooing hair or fur or anything narrow, kind of flowing like that. So there's a lot of versatility with a Magnum. And um, another tip as well is using the edge of the Magnum can create lines using this as well so you can use the whole bottom row of the needles like I'm doing here but you can use the corner of the machine and just use a single needle to create a small line I'm doing this with a curved mag which is a little bit more tricky so you need to practice and get used to uh, using this technique we're moving on to our next tip now and this is about starting light and building up so I recommend this to beginners because it will avoid you making tonal mistakes if you are applying tattoos correctly you're not really going to overwork the skin by starting light. So unless you know that for sure the area is going to be really dark, then just starting light and getting a feel for the skin, it's just starting to build it up and saturate it more is going to be a, a better way to go about it. I mean, with a proper technique and the right machine, it is going to take a long time before the skin starts to get sensitive. So you can sort of play around with it a little bit. So I'm using the pendulum shading technique in these clips and I'm mainly hitting the skin just going in one direction. Um, but when you're confident, you can push and pull your brush strokes as well which is uh, all your tattoo strokes. Get the job done a lot faster, uh, but there is slightly a bigger margin for error. So it really depends on how precise you want to be and how sort of delicate the kind of work is that you're doing. Um, just if in doubt, just go in one direction and you'll be fine. We are gonna move on to the next tip now. And this is about how many tones you need for your black and gray. Now you might see some artists using like 10 different tones. And uh, I personally think this is a waste of time, guys. I mean, I use solid black, I use a mid tone and I use a light tone. Then I just have plain water, just add a little bit in to your cartridge as well to mix it in uh, with your black or your other tone. So you can actually mix the ink inside the cartridge as you go. But guys, next tip now, and this is about using a round liner or a round shader to shade your tattoo. So not just using a magnum. Uh, mags are good for smooth shading, but um, they aren't always the most accurate for getting into those little corners or for just giving you a textured effect uh, on your shading. So for this, I recommend a round liner or a round shader. Now we'll have other videos soon about how to use these particular needles and what techniques are going to be good for that. So do stay tuned. Please subscribe. I do appreciate the support, as I say, and I will see you next time.